Welcome to another GoodyReader.com review video. My name is Michael. This is Peter. And today we're going to check out the AlluraTech Cinepad 7-inch. This is the first tablet that the company has ever released. They're primarily known uh, for releasing e-ink based readers and other types of technologies. AlluraTech Libra uh, and other readers have been fairly popular for the company. Uh, just to give you a little bit of specs, single core box chip A. 10 Cortex A8 processor. Uh, it's 1 gigahertz as well as Android 4.0, 512 MB of DDR3 RAM, and capacitive touchscreen. Uh, the one thing that I really don't like about it is it's pretty weak on the resolution, only 800 by 480. And of course, this supports HTML5, it has a G sensor, speakers, mics, all that. I'll let Peter here show you some of the hardware uh, semantics on this. All right, so on the front, you see you have a pretty thick bezel that supports these uh, semi-capacitive slash hardware-driven buttons, back, home, right-click, or more. Uh, you have a front-facing camera, 0 0.3 uh, megapixels, or VGA. Flipping over on the back, you get more of a portrait-looking scene here. You have a speaker with two holes here, not necessarily a stereo speaker. You have, uh, everything's nicely labeled, I must say, though. You have a micro SD card slot right here with no flap. DC 5 volt right here. Um, you have a mini USB cable. A uh, mini HDMI. A hard reset, 3.5 mil headphone jack, and a microphone. On the other side here, you have a power button, volume up, and volume down. Other than that, there's not too much else to it pretty standard and um, yeah I mean it's a, it's a pretty it's a pretty standard looking Android 7 inch tablet shell. So looking at the software side of things you can see it's a standard ice cream sandwich which is Google Android 4.0 which is their latest uh, iteration of uh, the Android operating system. Very bare bones. You can see like by default there's no actual apps on the home menu and that may actually put off a lot of users who power this on for the first time and say like look where's where's the apps you know um, you do have to hit that settings menu and then know enough about Android on even how to add those to your home screen. Most of these are the default apps that come with, on a unit. So you have, you know, Get Jar and the Amazon App Store for your two different ecosystems in order to download apps. Although we recommend if you're using this to use our own good e-reader app store. This is probably the, the best app store in on uh, the market in terms of independent apps it pretty well just focuses on the editor's choice uh, of applications really like on the market right now so there's a strong emphasis on e-reading applications and and things like that uh, we're in this process of adding a ton of new categories that make things a little easier to find so kindle everything like that you're pretty well good to go. So you can get the Goody Reader app store on our site at goodyreader.com slash apps, or you could uh, on uh, the Allure Tech Cinepad 7 inch, you can go to Get Jar and search for Goody Reader there. So let's take a look at some of the other uh, things that this uh, really has to offer. We're gonna show you how videos look as well as how music sounds. Um, again, there's a back facing speakers so you're not going to get the best sound unless you're holding it in your hands like us you know we kind of always have it down so we'll see how that experience stacks up all right so let's just go to the file explorer here um file manager file manager there you go <laughs> uh, we've noticed that uh things sometimes take a couple clicks here and there uh we have our <laughs> our go-to stock footage of the yosemite mountains and uh, let's turn this up to the full volume. Other way. Yikes. Strange button. It's not too bad, I guess. I mean, it is on the back, but... Um, yeah, it doesn't seem very muffled or anything like that. No, the audio I think is fine. I think what we're mainly suffering from is uh, the resolution. You're looking at basically 800 by 4, 480, which is, you know, in the world of tablets where a lot of stuff is 1024 by 768 or, or higher now with uh, the new iPad, 
you're it, you can see the video is kind of lackluster although if you're not like a perfectionist and you don't demand the best resolution and best quality you can probably get by with this especially with a Netflix streaming over Wi-Fi it should give you you know a fine experience we've seen a lot better oh absolutely I mean this is getting the job done it's not lagging it's not slowing everything down uh, you know it wasn't pixelated or anything it was definitely SD footage though so you're not gonna see any amazing 1080p footage on this thing yeah totally so there's a bit of uh, the video experience uh, what is the audio experience like all right so let's just go play a uh, just a stock um, something I loaded on here you will tell that uh, it's not the loudest let's turn it up So, it does seem like we're working with a single speaker here. So, um, it is on the back. You're, gonna, you're not going to really get the full multimedia experience unless your speakers are on the front or on the bind of your unit. When it's on the back, it does show that the tablet is not, not the highest build quality because, I mean, it's just an easier place to put it there than making custom smaller speakers that fit in a more... Um, a practical place so music players hurting yeah it's uh really all it is is a little rectangle with a progress bar and a pause and pause and play bar so you might want to download some uh a little bit of a better music player i would say yeah like get like meridian or something like that again uh, on a goodie reader app store you can find pretty well the best audio and video apps there so it's really standard. I mean, if you've seen like the stock Android experience, this is what you're seeing. Uh, really, the only thing that you're you're seeing uh, distinctively is uh, the addition of like Google Apps with uh, Google Talk, Google Voice, Facebook, and those are pretty well like the custom uh, things that they have preloaded on the device. Uh, it is Flash compatible, so you'd be able to play all those Flash games and everything like that. Let's check out what the internet experience is like. So this is it loading in, in real time here. We are on our standard Wi-Fi connection. Now something was um, surprising to me here. It looks like you have some sort of um, 3G capability right here in between the battery and the Wi-Fi. You will see that you have a triangle that is very... Um, it, it does remind you of uh, cell phones when you get 3D, 3G coverage. And as well uh, on... Um, the website it does tell you a little bit about 3g as well and if you go to the settings there's a couple settings on this device that tells you about 3g again so leads me to believe there might be or is capable of getting some sort of 3g in the future I'm not sure but we didn't see any sim card slots on this device what i think really this is is when we did some research to find out if uh, the processor was single or dual core we ended up finding this exact same tablet on a number of chinese manufacturing website so it really looked like it's LureTech just basically ordered directly from China this model had Android on it and really didn't do too much exactly if you go to Alibaba.com or DHgate.com those uh, wholesale wholesaler communities of Chinese electronics and Taiwanese electronics this was exactly the same as a lot of other companies instead they just laser inscribed LureTech on the back which is fair I mean for some companies they can't design their own but we have seen that this is just a generic template plate of a tablet yeah not everyone's apple acer asus you know uh lg and companies like that that can afford to manufacture their own at their own fab so um that's probably why we see the 3g thing there because it was probably when they ordered it from china it had the option to either order 3g models or non 3g models but all models had the you know we're showing this so that's why you see it uh internet experience i find it's very lackluster mm -hmm. uh pinching is zooming you can see is not responsive the web page is fully loaded it's okay it's okay but as you saw when Michael was doing that he accidentally clicked a couple things uh, you go into the the zoomed form and you go out and it has to reload everything like uh, I mean we've definitely seen better than this yeah totally I mean if you're on a static site where there's not much happening that's cool but more websites than ever are giving you an HTML5 or multimedia experience uh, scrolling it's not terribly slow but you can see that 
I do have to like swipe it yeah. many times right. for it to like move up. So you probably do want to install a little bit better of a web browser, Google Chrome, Firefox, or even Dolphin HD. So I would, uh, you know, check those out rather than just like the stock experience. So pretty well with Android in general, you know, you always have to download specialty apps. You don't want to rely on that crappy uh, MP3 player that we showed you with basically a pause button and play button. And that was really it. So basically we showed you videos, we showed you, um, you know, many of the options and stuff like that. You can get a sense on kind of what this tablet is about. Uh, it retails roughly for about, um, about $149. So it is significantly cheaper than say the Kindle Fire, Nook tablet and other tablets that are um, built with e-reading functionality. Allure Tech seems to be, um, marketing this is just like an Android tablet, whereas Allure Tech really has been known for e-reading. They released e-readers for like the last three years with uh, the Libra line and things like that. So I would have figured that they would have put more of an emphasis on e-reading apps coming out of the box here, but it doesn't really seem like e-reading for this tablet was a high priority with them. Exactly. I would say that as well. They're, uh, they're trying to compete in the just generic tablet marketplace of uh you know this is a do-it-all machine when in reality it doesn't quite stack up to say the kindle fire um the uh asus uh, the acer tablets and the nook tablets and all the other ones out there if they had geared it towards a specific uh niche a little bit more i think they would have had a little bit more success uh, I agree. It really seems like uh, this is sort of on the lower end of tablets but um it does look like that Allure Tech does have a lot of uh, industry partners in terms of uh, retail distribution. So you can expect to see this device in, in many electronic sa uh, stores because uh, Allure Tech has cultivated a, a, a large number of relationships, you know, in the retail sphere. So I think that that's primarily the reason why they're going to push a number of these for sale. Uh, in the end, though, I think it's just a generic Android tablet. There really isn't like a whole lot to this in terms of spec single core the RAM is only 512 uh, it's not really indicative to like the whole uh, you know experience in terms of giving you a high spec device at a reasonable cost it is one of the cheaper ones on the market but you do get what you pay for I would say so as well I mean web browser is not that great uh, like Michael said there was absolutely nothing on the home pages at all when we first started up we were kind of waiting like is this is this it there's gonna be a prompt nope no this was it and then we you know continued on our way but for the average person they don't really know as much as tech savvy people would so when you have absolutely nothing there nothing preloaded for you you kind of wonder whether it's you know something's wrong with it and it's just it just seems like an overall just generic run-of-the-mill seven inch tablet I, I totally agree and that, that about sums it up so uh, I would recommend if you're looking for like, a really low-cost tablet you for spec wise you could do a lot worse at this price point you know, uh, I would probably recommend if you see things uh, in Walmart for like $99 or less than $99, probably get this over any of that just because it does do a pretty good job, but you're probably better off spending a little over $200 and getting yourself, you know, a good Samsung or get yourself a Kindle Fire or something like that. So stay tuned for uh, more on this on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash goodyreader and for all the latest news, previews, interviews and uh, industry coverage you can check out our uh, blog at goodyreader.com slash blog uh, this has been a review of the Allure Tech Cinepad 7 inch model they also have a 10 inch model on the market but it's undergoing a hardware revision at this point so for goodyreader.com my name is Michael this is Peter and everybody take care